Hi everyone, it's Christy. Welcome back to Christmas in July. Um, today I want to alter a composition book. Now, um, this is just a basic composition book um, that I get at... I, uh, these are from Dollar Tree, actually. Um, because it says jot, but I do get them for 50 cents at Walmart, especially right now. Um, I just ordered 10 more uh, from Walmart at 50 cents a piece, so uh, I usually get the wide ruled because that's what I like to write on. But you want to make sure you don't get the uh, plastic -y covered ones, you want the card uh, cover. On it. Some people say get the ones that are in Vietnam because the paper's better. Never seen them. I always look. I never see uh, anything from Vietnam. So I'm, I, I don't guess I'm shopping at the same places. But anyway, since it's Christmas in July, we're going to turn this into a nice little journal. Now I haven't, I haven't finished this one yet. Um, but I got a good jump on it. So I've done the, the front cover and the back cover and lined the inside cover and put a pocket. Same thing in the front. Um, I've made a little tag here and then made this big pocket here with uh, two pockets on either side of that. Now this is going to be the closure. So I haven't done this portion yet, but it gets attached here uh, and then wraps its way around this way and I am totally blank as to what happens next I don't remember oh it's a ribbon so the ribbon comes out here the ribbon basically goes sandwiched in between and then <laughs> I do so many closures guys sorry um, of course we'll want this to say Merry Christmas going the right way around and it will be yeah, like that. So this will be upside down, but I'm not concerned about that because, you know, the majority of the time it's going to be closed. Um, and there'll be ribbon coming out here. Ribbon will come out of the back and wrap, and then the bow will be here. So that's the closure. So the only thing that I have left to do with this book is make a couple of... Uh, I think she did some huge tags, like six by eight something like that um, I'm not gonna make them that large but I'm gonna make some four by eight tags um, put a couple there a couple here um, I may uh, make a larger uh, couple of pieces for in here but I want to wait until I'm finished because I'm making three of these and then use the leftovers to make my tags with. But let's go ahead and I'm just gonna tuck this in here for the moment. So, cause that's gonna be the closure for this book. Um, and we'll just start from the beginning. So I've, I've got my book here and I have some pages picked out. Now the way it, the way I normally figure out a project now oh the, the inspiration from this comes from May May made it and I will link her video um, in the description box. All of these are going to have the same closure because I just used a scrap piece. But as I'm making one, I will set a pile of whatever I use aside. So if I use two pieces for the cover, then I'll pull two pieces for this book and two pieces for this book and um, leave piles. And so I, this is my pile. It's got a couple of scraps. I don't remember what these are for, but we'll come across that when we get to it. So I believe these were going to be my covers. I need two of these. Keep all the scraps. And then these two are going to be, no, um, this one is going to be the inside cover and then these are going to be the pockets and there's two more. I don't remember what those are for but we'll get to them when we get to them. So let's start with the outside covers. <clears throat> Now, your book may measure differently. Um, mine measures always the rulers upside down. It's the way. Um, a little over six and three quarters. So I'm going to cut this at six and seven eighths wide. 
so let me make a note for myself. Um, I thought I wrote this down the first time, but apparently I did not. So 6 and 7 eighths by, and then this way, I'd rather have a little bit more and trim it off. Uh, it's just under 9 and 3 quarters, so I'll do by 9 and 3 quarters. So 6 and 7 eighths by 9 and 3 quarters, and I'm going to do that with both sides or both pieces. Let me set my book aside for a moment. Alright, so the width is 6 and 7 eighths. Okay. I'm going to save that scrap. And the back cover will be the same six and seven eighths. Hope everyone had a great weekend. They go by so quick. And now my husband has changed schedules. It's going to be odd for a weird minute. <laughs> odd for a weird minute. It's going to be weird for a minute because he, or a two or three, he, um, he has had Sunday and Mondays off for years, and now he's going to be on, you know, 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. So it's going to be a little strange not to have my Mondays with him. But, all right, 9 and 3 quarters. All right. And 9 and 3 quarters. Now... You could, of course, cut all this stuff ahead of time. I'm doing one thing at a time just so I don't get confused. Um, but, you know, do what works for you. Um, if you want to cut all the pieces in advance, that's fine. So just double-checking this. Now, I am going to use my uh, We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper. Do you guys get this where it falls off? It drives me crazy. I, I wish there was something to make it stay on a little bit better. There we go. Um, anyway, if I use my um, um, half-inch corner chomper, it it uh, works pretty good with this uh, book. And then any anywhere that I am off, I will take some uh, a nail file to it but let's get going I'm going to glue oh, I probably should have filled up my bottle because I, I did um, use a little bit of glue putting this together the other day um, you want to come as close to the edge as you can now uh, May May used double sticky tape um, double sticky tape and I don't always get along. I used it for many years, but, um, it's kind of like hot glue for me, you know. It's also a one and done. So if you're not great at lining things up and you need a little wiggle room, use some Fabri-Tac or, uh, you know, you can use white glue sparingly. You, you know, it will make your paper wrinkle. Um, but when it dries out, I find that it normally gets back. Now, I am going to butt this right up against the cover uh, tape there. Um, maybe just a hair over um, because I like the black. But be aware, see, I've got my blue edges. I'm going to have to move some of this this way. Hmm. I didn't come as far over as I thought I did. Okay. I can sand that off or I can peel this up and kind of move it over a little bit. Um, just a smidge. 
Here we go. You can see a little bit of blue at the bottom, but you know, we'll be doing some inking here and it's not going to really matter. All right. I mean, I want that good and down. And then get this glue off. And then I'm just going to open this and see there's just a smidge there. So I'm going to take my craft knife that I did get a new blade in and come along here. Go slow so you don't cut into the cover. Ask me how many times I've cut into the cover. If you go a couple swipes, it works better than trying to get it all in one go. All right, I think that's good. All right, so then I will take my um, nail file, sanding tool, whatever, and I will just come along the edge here and anything that I see that I don't like, I don't know if you can see where I punched the corner. There's just a tad hanging over. So I'm just gonna come along here like that. And any white that shows, don't worry about it because we're going to ink when we're done. You see how nice the corner is now? Um, do the same thing on this edge. And because we have that just that smidge of blue, I'm going to come along here and just rough it up. And what will happen is that will take a little more of this ink and it won't look like a blue edge anymore. It'll look like it was supposed to be that way. Okay, ink covers up a multitude of sins. Okay. All right, so now we want to repeat this on the back cover. Where's my, that little piece of, there we go. These are great. Um, all right, so we wanna do that. And I'm not going to punch the corner this time because I think that's what messed me up. Um, I am going to get that. I lost the tip to that um, craft knife and um, not the tip, the cover. I didn't lose the tip. I lost the cover. I don't know where it is. I'll find it when I get rid of it. Um, so I keep it on my desk so that I don't act you know, up at the top so that I don't accidentally hit the blade when I'm looking for something else. I don't dare put it in my cup with all my brushes and other tools. Okay, I want to make sure there's enough glue on here to hold everything. But I don't need it to be saturated. Okay, this is the top. And this is the top. And we're going to come along here. Like so. These are, um, this is the Old World Christmas Collection from the Paper Studio at uh, Hobby Lobby. It is a textured, lightly textured, lightweight cardstock. There we go. Alright, so you can see on this one because I didn't. Um, I didn't trim it down or go over, so I've got, looks like the top is pretty good, but I'm going to come along here and get the sides. I can't cut straight to save my life, so I always end up with a little bit that I need to sand off. Yeah, this one pretty much two swipes does it. I'm going to go at a angle. Oh, see. I'm too far away. I can't see the can't see the corner. And and then I'll just take this piece. Just kind of doing 
the corner because I can sand the difference. And then this one is barely over, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to, and there's a rougher side and a smoother side. I use the smoother side most of the time, I should say. Where that little tiny hair is hanging over, I can get that right off. Coming around that corner, and I'm just roughing this up to take the ink, not to fix anything. Although there is a little tiny bit of blue showing, so that'll take care of it. And around this corner. I don't know if you guys can. Yeah, I feel I feel there's a little bit more over the edge there that I want to get. I don't think you can see it, but I can feel it. There we go. And then just that little bit. always go back. There's this one area right here that I don't like, so I want to get that that blue completely off. There we go. Okay. So, now we want to do the inside. Now, the inside, um, if I remember correctly, we left a little bit uh, of room. So we don't want to come all the way up to the spine, otherwise your, pay, your book won't open and close. So on this one, we did the nine and three quarters, but on the inside, I'm gonna measure this one upside down. I did, looks like I went with seven and a quarter and um, then we can kind of trim it. So seven and a quarter. I think I did write that down. Yep, seven and a quarter by nine and three quarter. Okay, so the next paper's up. Um, should be, let's see, so if it's seven and a quarter by nine and three quarters, I need two pieces, so it's not the bells. Let's do the um, the polka dots. Oops, I got one too many. So these will be the inside. So this one again, seven and a quarter by nine and three quarters. Seven and a quarter. three quarters. Sorry, you can't see this part. Seven and three quarters. Nine and three quarters. Okay, save our scraps. And book back in here and we are going to attach this to the inside so if I line this up like so that's over a little bit too far did I not measure these right oh I measured that one off a half an inch okay so let's try this one yeah that one's right it leaves about a quarter of an inch in there um, and I am going to go ahead and ink this before I put that cover on there. Now you see, if I had done that and we had gone over that spine, that would have cracked that spine right off. So um, it is a fabric tape, and I'm just folding that back. 
Okay. So, we will do this one and then I will trim the other one down. Um, you know, I had no problem doing this with my corner rounder last time. I must have got those last two off. So, let's try that again. And I'll make sure I center it proper. Okay. I want to get it as close to the edge as possible without um, getting too much extra smushing out because um, it, it's a mess to clean up that way. But I need it to be close enough to the edge so that it's not lifting. And I can go back and add more glue to the edge if I need to. Okay. So let's get this piece down and I'm going to line it up. See, that works out pretty good. Yeah, not a lot of trimming here on this piece. That one turned out really good. Let's trim this piece down. What did I say? About a half an inch? Yes. Um, yeah, that's really strange. Thought I was paying attention, but see. Okay. Now I'm going to have that one random half inch strip scrap. <laughs> that's okay. Alright, so this is going to go here. And I'm going to do the corners. All right. And I think after this, I'm going to have to fill up this glue bottle so that y'all aren't waiting for the glue all the time. Um, But the rest gets easier. I, I know this isn't this isn't uh, difficult, but it it's uh, oh, what's the word tedious a little bit, but the results are really cool. So um, I'm excited to make a couple more of these. You never know when you might need a last minute gift for someone, and this is perfect. Um, it's also a good scrap buster, you know. All right, line that up, rub it down. I got a little, little away from the edge there. I'll just pull it back. There we go. Okay, so let me fill my bottle. I'll be right back. Note to self, make sure there's no air bubble in here when you're trying to put glue in it. I made a huge mess. I got glue everywhere. Okay, let's do the inside pockets. So the inside pockets are four and three quarter by seven and a quarter. So you only need one piece. And I want my pattern to be this way. So I'm going to do four and three quarter on this side. Okay. So, oh, I didn't even need to pull that out. So four and one, two, three quarters. And by this way, I want seven and a quarter. Okay. Scrap. And again, four and three quarters. We're doing this on the front and the back. And seven and three quarters. Okay. So, I don't want that piece. I want this piece. Okay. And then I put uh, 
a notch. Um, I should keep this close, closer, but I put a notch in the pocket just because I like it. It's a, a decorative element for me. So where's my, uh, you could use a circle punch, of course. Because these are four and three quarters, I want it two and three eighths. No, that's not right. These are seven and a quarter, so I need three and a half plus an eighth, so three and five eighths. That's how I do math. <laughs> three and five eighths. All right, now I am going to go ahead and ink these before I glue them down. I didn't ink the pages, but we can do that real quick. Um, because it is hard to ink pockets once you get them all glued down. Now, if I remember correctly, these are going to be rounded on... Oh, that's the wrong book. Well, this is going to get fun. Um, I rounded the edge on that one edge. So we will want to do that before we ink. So half inch on this one. And half inch on the opposite. Alright, and now we ink... this paper it's I don't know there's just something about it it's the nostalgia of Christmas past I don't know I really really love these designs in here now the vintage Christmas it, I love too but in a different way this it's just completely different all right so we are going to attach one to the front and then I'll go ahead while I'm here and ink this. And and go ahead and ink the edge of that paper. And then we will glue this down. I have to remember to cover my ink because I have the ceiling fan on, the air conditioning on, and it has a tendency to dry everything out. All right. You know, I've got the wrong measurement somehow. I did the same thing with this one that I did with the other one. I cut it a half an inch off. So, let me let that sit for a second and we'll do the back one see if this one's right yeah that's really strange I can't believe I did it twice in a row you guys see why they say measure twice cut once at least I made it bigger okay I've already used that one um, at least I made it bigger and not smaller so I'm not really worried about ink in the bottom because we're going to cover it up. Ink along here. Alright, let's try this one and then we'll go back and trim that other one correctly. It's seven and a quarter and I did three quarter. That's why. Alright. Put that down. Beautiful. I like it. All right, and I've glued this one to the front page. So Take that off. That's going to be covered, so I'm not too concerned, but I don't want it sticking to anything else. So let's go ahead and get the glue off. So that took it right off the paper, even. 
All right, let's trim this down. My goodness, Christy, get with the program. All right, I'm going to get a little bit of glue in my blade, but not too much. And it'll come off on something else, I'm sure. Okay. So, reapply glue. Ink this edge. And do that again. Now, my... Um, Amazingly, my notch is still in the right place <laughs> because I measured it from this side, so that's nice. Okay, check your measurements. All right, did I even ink that part? I don't know, it's fine. Okay. So next, um, we are going to make a little tag thing here. Um, this is just using a piece of scrap. So um, what did I use in here? I used the holly. And what, what else was the holly used for? Nothing. So that was just a scrap. So let's find the holly. Okay, this piece measures, huh, let's see if I get this right, this piece measures three and three quarters by three and an eighth, so this is three and, well this is four inches, so we could cut it that way, we want it to be three and three quarters so let's let's just trim that let's do it this way first let's do three and an eighth and three and an eighth and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do make my tag a little bit bigger I'm gonna make my tag two by four so what did we use for the tag in this one was it another scrap? It was the stockings. So let's use let's use this piece. So we want this to be two by four. You want your tag to be the same length as the pocket. Okay. Now the reason that we did three and an eighth is because we wanted a two inch pocket. Um, you're adding an inch for your your uh, side uh, hinges, I guess you will. Uh, so that makes it three and then just an eighth of an inch for extra room. So um, this is our tag and then um, I went ahead and made up the extra pocket too. I need to put that with my other thing. So we're going to take this long ways and we are going to score at a half an inch. And I'm going to do this where I can see it because it, it, it's got that extra eighth of an inch. So I'm going to line it up there and I'm going to do a half an inch here. I don't want that. I like this one. Half an inch. Turn it around. And a half an inch. And what that does is it gives us about an eighth of an inch of wiggle room for that tag to slide in and out. Okay. So I am going to put a notch in the top and bottom. So um, there's no measurements here. I'm just kind of uh, centering it between this piece. Um, you know, not going for perfection. Best, the best will do. Okay, so I do want to ink this one up. Okay, that's going to get glued down like this. 
Let's ink our tag. I want to ink this on both sides because this will be a little journal spot. I'm not making it into a tag shape. I'm just making it square. And then I am going to uh, put a hole. right there and a piece of something. I have this Rick Rack. I want to use this. So you see everything's sticking to me because of all that glue. I need to wash my hands. All right. So get that in there. The Rick Rack is a little tough because it's stiffer and thicker, but I think it looks really cool. I am recording, right? Yes, okay. Good to know. All right, so I'm just going to play with this. You don't want to pull and and get that, um, you know, tear your, your card or card stock. All right, I am going to cut that down just a smidgen. Let's see, one, two, three, four. There we go. And then this slides in here. Actually, I think I'm gonna do it this way because I did, I did the hole on the wrong side. So I'm gonna do it this way. It doesn't matter. It will be different than the other one. And um, we could have we could have used a different pattern instead of the bells. I forgot we had the bells on the pocket, but that's okay. I'm just going to oh, you know what I am gonna do before I oh my glue's on the floor. I am going to uh, angle these just slightly so they don't show. No big deal. Okay. Now we will put the glue on here. <laughs> you can see when stuff gets on the floor, everything gets on the glue bottle. Oh my gosh. I've got, oh my gosh, this is horrible because I've got glue on my hands. Oh, I need to vacuum under my desk apparently. Now that's, I feel, upside down, so I'm going to do it this way. About um, maybe three-eighths of an inch from the edge over here. About a half an inch from the top. But put it wherever you want it. Center it if you like. Get up some of that glue. Just hold that down for a second. There we go. There's a little piece after a while. Let me use the new one. After a while, you get these little balls of, of little rubber um, on the end that I usually just clip them off. So, all right, and we have this. That will go right inside here. Make sure you don't glue it down. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Let me come back and mess with that more. But you can see how you want the same size so it peeks out both sides. Kind of cute. Okay. All right. So what is next? Um, got both pockets. So let me see my notes. Large pocket. 
um, we're going to um, glue a couple of these pieces together to make a large pocket. So I think I'm going to stop right here because that is a little bit detailed and we will do that on the next uh, time and uh, in the next video and you'll have a chance to catch up if you want to make one of these with me. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye now.